This is the new Saima X6 quadcopter. Design-wise, it's very similar to the Saima's line of quads with its spaceship design. Spanning about 23 inches wide, the X6 is slightly larger than the WL Toy Cyclone. Its size is largely due to the foam exo frame. The frame protects the blades and acts as a bumper. Even after numerous crashes and flights, we have yet to damage the frame. Powering the system is a 850 milliamp lithium ion battery. This should give you around 7 minutes of flight time. We love the larger multi rotors for a couple reasons. One of which is the payload capacity. You can easily mount a GoPro 3 or various other small cameras on the X6. The footage that came out from it was surprisingly stable and it seems like it was almost on a gimbal. We don't recommend always having extra weight on the X6 as that could stress the motors causing premature failures. In our testing however, it still performed great even after the stress test. You can expect the usual features here found on most, if not all, consumer quadcopters such as the ability to flip in any direction and adjust the sensitivity from slow to quick. Another feature we liked about the X6 was just how easy it was to fly. The 6-axis gyro does an excellent job at keeping it steady. We didn't expect it to last as long as it did outdoors, but this thing can easily handle little to mild wind. If a majority of your flying is done outdoors, be mindful that it is limited to around 30 meters of flying so always keep it in sight and never let it drift too far. With so many multi-rotors on the market, the X6 fits right in the middle. It offers a great balance of size, stability, and versatility. So this is your quick look at the X6 from Saima.